Oh, uh, the newest selection, the newest addition to my fleet. Smells like a new car. Here's my 2010 Mercury Grand Marquis Ultimate Edition with 28,142 miles on it. Since I bought the car last year, I think around late December, I've put 2,812 miles and four tenths on this car. Also, this car is about to receive the very first oil change since it's been in my care. Because the sticker has 28155 on it and I'm at 28142. So when I get this car's oil changed, I'm going to rotate all four tires. I'm going to get a detail because where I work I can get a detail for $40, $50. Which includes an exterior wash and wax, cleaning the wheels, an inside leather conditioning treatment. He wipes everything down with like a Malco leather conditioner. Um, and inside, shampoo and clean all the carpet. Because it needs it, you know. Illinois winter, a lot of mud out. Especially since it's been so warm out, there's a lot of mud. And he'll also clean the glass really good. Plus I've also got like some sticky spots on this wood trim. And I'm gonna either take care of myself or have him take care of it. Plus, when the Pontiac gets ready to have its oil changed in a couple weeks, he's gonna do the same thing to it. As everybody knows, I'm a really big fan of the uh, full-size rear-wheel drive cars, platform cars. That kind of style, that kind of car. They don't make that anymore. Uh, in my opinion, if you want something big that's rear-wheel drive, you either have to go with an SUV, which I don't like, or a full-size truck. Now, I don't know about you, but other than Ford, and maybe a little bit of Chevrolet, I really don't like what people are selling for trucks these days. I think they're, they're too big, too much plastic, and too goofy looking. Like that thing right there. Anyway, I bought this car. This is a 2010 Mercury. My, the, the dealership I worked for had it for sale along with another one. They were loaner cars for the dealership. You know, somebody comes in with like a blown engine, and you give them one of these cars and for the duration of time that their car is being worked on. So I bought it, uh, I paid like 14 for it, 14,000 and change, maybe a little more than that. So far I'm very satisfied with the car, uh, it goes down the road nicely, nice smooth acceleration, good braking, good tires on it, can't really complain too much. The only thing that I can really complain about is it's, it's more me than the car, it's, it's when I sit in the car. No matter what kind of car, or even the truck for that matter, I get stiff and sore after a while. And I gotta really watch that. I gotta watch how I get out of a vehicle, or I'll hurt my knee. I'll have to be limping for a while, and my knee won't be better for some time. If I drive the car like I should, you know, easily, like a big road car, it'll get about 22, 26 miles a gallon with uh, Ford's modular 4.6 V8 engine in it. If I drive it like I want to drive it, like I drive the Pontiac, I get about 19 to 20. Maybe a little less than that. It's got a, I think a 19 gallon fuel tank on it, you know, all kinds of good stuff. Very little wind noise, automatic climate control. And I would tell you guys that if you're looking for a car that is big, it's got plenty of power, plenty of room to seat people, I'd definitely look at one of these Mercury's, Lincoln's, or Ford's. Because you're going to get the, the power of a V8, and yet you're going to get the fuel economy of a car. And the room of a, like a Suburban. Headlights. 
haven't really had an opportunity to uh, use the air conditioner yet, so I can't vouch for it. Got a good sound system in it. Got an AM FM CD player radio. Get back to the handy cam. Cause I also got smooth braking, good response time to the brakes. And it handles nicely, like I said. It's got the traction control and the rear differential to help prevent wheel slipping on uh, slippery roads and stuff. See you guys later. I'm gonna go out and have some more fun in my Mercury.